So I've got a 10 strainer cover here. You want it to be out of some really nice soft chap leather, uh, probably around a three to four ounce. This is a little bit heavy, but it'll be fine for what we're doing. But I prefer something just a little bit lighter. Um, two to three coats of glue on each piece, and those have set up well. And now we'll just line them up. On a fiberglass tree, this strainer is already built into the tree. And so all we can do really is to glue it on here and, and uh, with some good quality contact cement, and it'll stick. So. Um, if you're using metal tin strainers, you'll put that on and then install the tin strainer, obviously. But uh, with this, we're just, this just gets glued in here. And I like to leave a lot of overlap over the bar. We'll come back in and sky that down. We'll get it really inside that crease right there where the strainer and the bar is. And I'll use my rub stick and just be sure that it's glued down in there really well. If you've got a little bubble under there, you want to be sure it's pushed up in there so that you don't have that, so that everything is glued well. Some of these fiberglass trees, there'll be a little space there between the little drop off between the bar and the strainer, like it is right in there. So you want to be sure and be sure it's glued up in that crease real well. On mine, I don't worry too much about gluing this front piece down yet, because when I get the ground seat done and push it up through the handhold, I'll have to break that glue loose anyway to get it where I want it. got good adhesion and then I'm gonna make two cuts right where my stirrup leathers come through I'm gonna cut the front piece and I just use scissors you can use a knife and the back piece you can see where that is it's the same where that stirrup slot is stirrup leather slot and we'll just shove that through there that so it's coming through the top of the strainer and then all of this I want to leave glued down and like I said I'll, I'll skive all this off so we don't have this ledge right here but that ensures that we've got plenty then your skirts are going to come in about that high and so hopefully that'll help from anything catching this over time if you make it too short um, it can eventually kind of come off so I just I like to have a little bit of a feather running around my bar but we want to skive that down and take that that bump off we're going to do the other side. And this is the first piece of leather that I put on a saddle. So I usually do a bunch of them at one time. And then we can get started putting ground seats in. This is a much more involved process. Make sure it's all stuck down underneath. So that's what it ends up like on top. So now we'll take some glue. Put glue right there. Glue a little bit more on our little pieces that came through here. And I'll do two coats. So once, I, once this dries, I'll come back, put another coat, and then once that dries, We'll fit them in the middle. All right, so here's a hog tree that we're doing, and I've put two coats on there already, and they're ready to go. So we'll go ahead and do this one, so I can show you. I'll bring these up, and then this is not that critical, so don't get too, if you're doing this for the first time, don't get too worried about it. Just kind of cut down the middle. You're gonna skive all that off anyway, so I don't get, they don't have to match up perfectly or anything. We just want to get it trimmed where it's not in the handhold and where they kind of meet somewhat close. And that's glued down right there. And then you can push that down out of the way so you can see through your handhold when you're lining up your ground seat pieces and stuff. That's nice and nice. So as you can see, this really doesn't need to be glued down yet because you're going to have to break this loose to shove this 
in there once we get our ground seat finished. So don't worry too much about being sure this is glued down. All of this needs to be right because we won't, we won't come back to this except to skive it. All right, so here I've got my safety skiver, brand new blade. And we're just gonna take, take a bunch of this off just so it doesn't create a bump. And again, this is just how I do it. I don't, everybody does it a little bit different, but this is how I do it. A strainer cover on fiberglass tree. And I call them tin strainers because that's what traditionally you put in a rawhide tree and it's what we started out building on years ago. And so to me, it's still a tin strainer even though it is fiberglass. It's not an actual galvanized tin strainer in there. I'm not too worried about the middle here because we're, again, we're gonna come over here with three or four layers of leather and work our ground seat. All I'm trying to do is keep from having a too big of a bump right here. You wanna leave enough meat so that if you cut too much off here, these things will drop back down in there over time in the life of the saddle. And it can really, really create some problems for any repairman replacing your stirrup others. So be sure and leave enough meat that that's gonna stay inside there and it's not gonna rip right here and then the underside will push down. So now we'll turn it over. And then this area right here, we're gonna take that off and just feather that down. On these hog trees, the bar to the strainer is almost perfectly smooth. There's really no ledge. If you look here on these trees, there's a pretty good ledge right in there where the bar and the strainer's up, up inside between the bars. So there's a pretty good little ledge right there. Doesn't affect anything in my opinion. That's not a big concern. It's just something when you're, if you are building on a hog tree or a tree that is like that, don't want to get too far in there because you're gonna, you'll be able to see it. So we want to stay basically where the top edge of the bar is and just feather this out. And this chap leather. And here in the kennel tunnel, I like to just take a little bit out of there. Again, if you're, if this area is touching your horse, the saddle don't fit at all. So it's not that critical, but for the build process, I want that area clean when I come in there with my with my kennel back. So I just wanna kinda of cut some of that out of there. My knife needs to be sharpened. Dull knives, no bueno. The saddle's ready to have a ground seat put into it. There's some other things that we'll do as far as putting our center lines in, putting our plugs in for our stirrup leathers, and then we'll start putting in the ground seat. But that's the first piece of leather that goes on a saddle is a strainer cover, or the way I build saddles. I would assume everybody puts this on first. Can't get very far without it, but that's the first piece. And that's, that's ready to ride, ready to go, not ride. Don't ride this, it's not done.